This is Dano Does Things, a place to learn, have fun, and do something creative every week. This week, I am going to paint a penny with a little Milky Way Starry Night scene after having read or watched exactly zero tutorials. I've seen pictures of things people have painted on pennies and other coins before, and the amount of detail that some of these artists can put on such a tiny surface is insane. Do I think I'll be able to do it that well on my first try? No. But do I have an excess of pennies? Absolutely. I'm from Canada, and we stopped using pennies in like 2013, and I've had a bunch just sitting in my cupboard ever since. So at the very least, if I mess this one up, I have plenty of spare canvases, which is why I feel confident to just jump in. For this project, I am using some basic acrylic paints in the colors Titanium White, Mars Black, Violet, and Patholo Blue? Patholo Blue? I'm really not sure if I'm saying that right. I've only ever read the words, so correct me if I'm wrong. I am also using the smallest acrylic paintbrushes I could find, and of course a vintage 2008 penny. I am using a pasta sauce lid to mix my paints, but I'm sure a more sophisticated tool like, I don't know, a yogurt lid would work as well. Like I said, I have never painted a penny before, or honestly anything at this small of a scale, because I don't have incredibly steady hands. You may have been able to catch a glimpse of this if you could see the moon I attempted to paint on my left ring finger. I was gonna paint a bunch of different symbols on there for Halloween, but I did not make it past this little moon. Which is one of the reasons why I wanted to do this miniature painting. In the past, if I haven't been good at something right off the bat, I just quit. Just stopped doing it and never tried it again. It's actually something that has really gotten in my way before. I mean, it wasn't just hobbies that, whatever, I could just move on to the next one. It was things like school subjects that have literally shaped my future. Like, I didn't take chemistry in high school because I did bad on the first test and I didn't want people to think I was stupid, so I just quit. Which is kind of crazy, especially in high school. People are so worried about what they're doing, they really don't have time to care about whether you're good at math or not. If I could go back in time and tell young me one thing, it would be don't give up. Just keep trying, and especially do not compare your first try to someone else's hundredth try. Or compare yourself to anyone else for that matter. You know what, I don't even need to tell that to younger me, I need to tell that to right now me because it's just as applicable. You have to focus on you and the things you can personally do to improve. And if you have to compare yourself to anyone, compare yourself to past you. You may be surprised to see how far you've come without even noticing. But of course it takes time and most of all practice to get better at something. So here I am practicing something I've never done before and not being ashamed of the outcome. Now I think painting a Milky Way sky is one of the easiest things to paint where you get pretty impressive results. Because you just need to keep layering and blending blues and purples together and then highlighting with some white. And the best part is, if you put down too much color or color in the wrong place, you just go back over it with black and try again. Just need to add a few stars in the sky and maybe a couple of wonky pine trees in the foreground and there you have it, a painted penny. There's definitely a few things I could have done to improve, like washing the penny might have helped the paint stick a little better, and I probably shouldn't have wet my paintbrush to start, I don't think that helped either, but I won't lie, I'm kind of impressed with myself. I did something I've never done before, but have always wanted to, and if that's not the point of all this, then I don't know what is. Give it a try yourself, and if you'd like to see something new next week, I am obligated to tell you to like this video and to subscribe to Dano Does Things.